For me, Charlotte's been amazing. I think. <laughs> a seven. <laughs> now I'm proper dabbing. I'm a dabber. Oh, proper dabber. Proper. I'm drawing, right? Oh, what shall I draw? Shall I draw Lawsy? Lawsy, it feels like we've been together for years. But I've never been a team which is so together. From back to front, I think the whole team's been quality. <laughs> what is that? So, girls. Tweedledum, Tweedledee, should I call you? <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. This is episode five. We are on a good run at the minute. Very good. Uh, Leanne Kanan is on fire. Flames. She is on flames. <laughs> um, machine. Obviously, you're a striker as well. I know you're out injured at the minute, but how good is it to be a striker in form? Uh, do you know what? I think it's probably one of the best feelings because obviously there's times where you don't score, but then when you do, it's like you just feel on top of the world, really. Like and. You can see it in like Lee's performances as well. Like she looks confident. Like she's scoring in every game. Like she's playing a massive part in sort of us winning the games. Yeah. And not only is she scoring with her feet, like she's scoring with her head and everything like that. So, which is really good for a striker. So. Yeah, she scored a couple of worldies as well. She scored yeah. some bangers. <laughs> yeah. Especially the ones against Coventry as well. Yeah. Yeah. Quality, yeah. I know that's the thing. She's not like you said. She's not just scoring goals with her feet. No. She's scoring with her head. She's scoring. Bicycle kicks, wherever it was the other week. And All it's just the bicycle like, kicks yeah. in training. It's <laughs> really breaking her back and backflips. You don't come off in training, but they do no. in the games, that's fine. That's all that matters, really. <laughs> um, but not just on about Leanne, obviously we've kept a lot of clean sheets. Is there anyone else you want to pick out that you think's doing well, deserves a bit of a shout out? For me, I think Jazz has been one of our most consistent and strongest players. and. Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone really trusts her on the ball and off the yeah. ball. Like, I'm back in jazz all the way. Yeah. And she's a great person on and off the pitch. Yeah. It's, I think she really deserves the credit. I think the whole back line, including yourself, Lawsy. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. You're very welcome. I'll pee you later for that. I've <laughs> <laughs> oh, got loads of clean sheets. I think that should be highlighted. Yeah. As well. yeah. From like your, your end to Lee's end, like, I think from back to front, I think the whole team's been quality. It's, yeah. like, it's hard to pick out someone because. No matter what, if it's a cup game, league game, like everyone's showing up, everyone's performing. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, we've got a really good like group of girls. I think for me, ever since Neve come back in against Coventry, I think she's been solid. Yeah. Uh, she's a leader. Obviously, she's the captain first, first and foremost. And I think she leads by example on yeah. and off the pitch, like you said about Jazz. And she's a great person to have back there. She talks, you know, she's calm on the ball. She can find a pass and hopefully she chips in with a few goals this season. Yeah. But, but yeah, I think, like you said, you could have probably named everybody, but we are on a good run. Yeah. And fingers crossed, yeah. we keep going. Obviously, we knew Durham was a massive game, but Sunderland was probably just as important. You were back in the squad that game. Yeah. How was it to be back? <laughs> it was great to be back in the squad. Obviously, Ree's been out much longer than me, but I don't know how she's done it. Yeah. I stayed so positive for it, but I was only out for like a month and it was getting to me. Yeah. So being back in the squad finally was just a great feeling, but I, I do hate evening kickoff, so <laughs> I could not stand the build up. Day, I hate it? build up. We filled it with food and <laughs> meetings and trips to the Metro Centre. Yeah, Metro. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was nice to have you back. It was really good to see you back, mate, Thank because you. injuries aren't nice. They are a part of the game. I know obviously you've been out a little bit longer than, than obviously yeah. you wanted to be, but <laughs> are you nearly there now? How, how are things going? Yeah, I mean, sort of, as you said, like it's been longer than I anticipated, but yeah, I think it's been hard, but mm. I think I'm almost at the last hurdle now. Yeah. And I mean, for me, Charlotte's been amazing because <laughs> like, I think <laughs> she keeps me positive. Some days it's hard and like yeah. sort of takes your mind off being injured. And obviously when Charlotte got injured as well, it sort of, it wasn't good for both of us, but then we sort of took our minds off it in a way and maybe yeah. like made jokes out of things and just sort <laughs> of helped each other out. And yeah. like you learn to accept that you just got to sort of take each day as it comes and yeah. sort of and hopefully get back on the pitch, and obviously you are. Yeah, like we'd have chats, like serious chats about it and just keep each other level-headed and mm -hmm. be like, it's going to get better, but also make a joke out of it. Like, ree has been great for me as well, even like injury or not. We're always helping each other out and like, we've known each other, like I went since I was like 13, 14 and she was like my age, 17, 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've we've always known that. each <laughs> That wasn't that long ago, was it? No. <laughs> <laughs> So we've known each other for quite a while, but like, obviously it's the first time we're living together. We've both yeah. moved out. That's our first time living yeah. away from home. Yeah. So we've been doing it together, like everything. We are in the same boat the whole way. Yeah. And obviously being injured together, we are literally like the same person. I know how to help yeah. Ree and Ree knows how to help me. Yeah, that's good. So we just take our mind off things, obsessed with coffee. So if we can, mm -hmm. any coffee, coffee will <laughs> cure any pain. <laughs> 
No, but it's good that you've got each other, girls, because it could be hard. You know, like even if like yeah. I obviously live on my own, mm -hmm. but I know that and we're a team at the end of the yeah. day, on and off the no, pitch. No, the girls have been great, to be fair. Yeah. Like, they're always talking to me and everything like that. No, the team have been massive help for me as well, for sure. And no. the staff as well. Yeah, Definitely. no, that's good. Yeah, we're everyone's so together. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've never been a team which is so together and so yeah. mm -hmm. caring, genuinely caring about one another. Yeah. yeah. No, it's nice. It's a nice environment to be in. Very nice, yeah. I know things can be great when we're winning, but I think even at the start of the season, when things weren't quite clicking, mm -hmm. we were still like that. Yeah. And honestly, it feels like we've been together for years, the yeah. whole team, and I think that's why we're so close on and off the pitch. Yeah. But you two are definitely the best people to be injured together <laughs> if you had to pick two people if i'm ever injured please come round. <laughs> so the question is why are we here yeah we are here because of a very important cause i think to the club and to a lot of the members at the club for the rainbow laces campaign exactly yeah. so the question was a bit more philosophical why do we have to be here <laughs> and still talk about it because you are to say it in English, it's an openly... Yeah, openly gay footballer, yeah. Uh, openly gay footballer. Yeah, I think in women's football I've been very fortunate that it's not as unusual and it's very accepted and, yeah, the community is very strong, but I think for the entirety of football there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, especially on the men's side, just to make it a, a platform that it's accepted and that, yeah, it's okay to be who you are and be true to yourself. That's what life is about. Eh? Yeah. So um, the, the thing is, and I'm 100% sure it's not a problem in a, in a dressing room, mm. So, which is obviously the starting point for it. I don't know um, how much it would be a problem in a football stadium. There must be a reason why, why so many um, um, gay football players will not say what they think, how they want to live. In the change rooms, I don't think it's a problem, but I think potentially outside there's a lot of external factors and opinions that are maybe a little bit outdated and it's just about making sure that everyone is treated equally and not yeah, looked down upon for their sexuality or how they present. And for me, I was very fortunate to be surrounded by a very supportive network in my family and friends and they accepted me for who I am. But I think on the men's side, there is a lot of stigma around being who you are and the outing. We need to create that platform where if someone does come out and says, you know, identifies who they are, that there isn't like a big fuss made about it because it should just be, it should yeah. just be, you yeah, know? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's a great campaign, I yeah. have to say. No, I agree. And it looks good. It does look good. <laughs> Rainbow nice colours look. look amazing. They yeah. bring a smile to everybody's face. As an ally, it's so important. Um, for us to have people like you who are, you know, in our corners and standing behind us and supporting us. And the biggest thing you can do is listen and support and educate yourself if you don't know. Because I think, yeah, that's a, maybe an area that a lot more people can maybe place more attention on is just educating. Because at the end of the day, we're all people, we're all humans, you know, we're all doing the same thing, we're all kicking a ball around, you know, so and your support means everything. Great, I'm in. Perfect. I said it Me on too. television. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, yeah, we went God. swimming. We had a great swim. And we had a nice swim, a little jacuzzi. <laughs> Steam room. <laughs> of all the things, you went swimming. And, and then swimming. got Shout ourselves out. a swimming costume. A nice, and goggles. Oh, did you buy a swimming yeah. costume? And goggles. <laughs> we were matching as well. Of course you were. Good God. Where else did we go? I'm glad I didn't put Minty in swimming. Um... Um, right, that is really weird. Costa's just come up. Sorry. <laughs> right, that is so weird. No, like, yeah, that share is weird. the love. Oh my god, you can now Costa get knows free drinks. You're cheating on it. Costa knows you're cheating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want we make TikToks, it. don't we? Oh, yeah, TikTok. Get us up. Oh my god, get us on TikTok. TikTok. 12,000 talk views. Through. We've really? had a bit of a break yeah. in the minute. We've had a little pause in... T- yeah, we have, haven't we? Yeah, we have. We're waiting for Reed to be fully back fit. Yeah, because we, we can't only do, wanna... like, the dances yet, because... Sensible. We only want to give premium to. content, so... Yeah, it's got to be up there. Yeah. So we're only we're... giving you the best, so... I haven't got TikTok. Maybe I'll get it just for you. Uh, yeah. We're, we're going to be flying like... after we're... Well, I'm We've got fit, them lined up. Yeah. It's going to be like Christmas TikToks. We're going to come back with a bang. I'm going to have to get TikTok now. You are, because we'll be on it after Christmas. I feel like I'm a bit too old for TikTok. But then Fernie and you know There's no such thing as being too old, Lawsy. There is no such thing. I needed thing. that, Charlotte. My mum's got TikTok. That tells you. Oh, sure. <laughs> I need to get it. Jojo, yeah, yeah. As soon as I see her start out. posting, that's it. <laughs> the phone's going to come off. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I've heard you like a bit of bingo. Oh, God. Obsessed. Yeah, there you go. Ask me every week to go over. And yeah. I'm always like, I don't really want to sit there by myself. How, ma- <laughs> how did you get into it? How do you get into bingo? I don't know, you know. I just, there's one where in London where I live, there's sort of one about 10, 15 minutes mm-hmm. away. And a group of us, um, when I was at Spurs, mm-hmm. uh, we used to go. Um, and I don't know, just sort of started really liking it. I and then, it. like, basically, what happens is they, they draw you in because the first time you go, <laughs> you sort of win. And you get, and, you get and you're like, right, that's it. <laughs> but then, do you know what? It's actually quite fun. It's so. just a good night out. And I used to be on the, the screens like the that did it automatically. Now Ooh. I'm proper dabbing. Pro. I'm a dabber. Oh, proper dabber. Proper. Yeah. I proper. It. I've got all sorts of different colours. <laughs> <laughs> I get stressed. She took me to bingo at like, the start of the season and I'm on this thing and I'm like, it says yeah. claim to win and I'm there like proper like. Oh, See, I'm like, I took her for a first time wins. 65 quid. Oi, oi. As if you won 65 pounds. I know. Next time you go, let me know. I'll come to bingo. All right, okay. I do love a bit Have of bingo. bingo sesh. Have you got any other hobbies? Embarrassing hobbies, not embarrassing hobbies. I tried painting and drawing. <laughs> so I should laugh. <laughs> you love that. I actually drew quite a nice rose. Right? Yeah. Like that's as in about it. Paint by numbers? <laughs> no, and that no, sounds no, really childish, like, isn't it? My free hand or whatever it's called. Oh really? Yeah, but it was actually a really good rose. It was. I actually give it to you. We need evidence of this rose. Alright. Putting you on the spot. Really? Pick something to draw and draw it. And then we'll see how good you are. What are you going to draw? You, draw me. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to have that for you? Thank you. No worries. No pressure. <laughs> That's a bit round, that mate. I see now. <laughs> you don't like a potato. Yeah, it's just a sketch. All <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Mate. <laughs> just live off a sketch. All right. That's a lot of time. Emphasis on the rough. Yeah. It's not that bad, to be fair. Got nice cheap bones, Lawsy. It's going to be like a caricature, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely, that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not you didn't sign it. Are, 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 they, are they in my hands with goalkeeper gloves yeah, on? Yeah, they're gloves. OK, yeah. And boots. Right. <laughs> hands like shovels. <laughs> and arms like... I'm going to keep that. Can I keep that? That's true. Thank you, mate. It was true. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I think that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I think it's quite good. Right, girls, so this part of the show, we ask our guests to bring in a personal item or a photo or whatever it may be, something that means a lot to them and that there's a little bit of a story behind. So, Charlotte, do you want to go first? What have you brought in? That picture's celebrating after I scored my first, my first professional goal. It was my dad's birthday a couple of days before and we got the opportunity to buy like a private box at Bramall Lane oh. and so uh, for like a surprise for his birthday I got oh, nice. him and my mum oh nice a yeah. little private box and just to have my family there it mm-hmm. just means the world to me because they literally they travel up from London they drive anywhere they they're here at Prenton Park every week Cute. driving hours and hours and I think in that picture it just shows how much it genuinely means to me and I don't think I've ever had like a feeling like that mm-hmm. of like 
I just lost it. I just lost nice. the plot. Oh, nice. For your first, I didn't. You know, as me, I didn't even think like it was your first professional goal. Yeah. I just thought it might have been your first goal for Liverpool, but and then I like after I scored, I looked up at my dad and he's just jumping Cute. about. Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, great nice finish as well. Thanks, Ray. Really, coming from you. Not that. Should be a striker. Watch yeah, your back. I'll be right about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Get up the pitch. <laughs> Three months. <laughs> right. Follow on from that, mate. What is yours? Uh, so mine's sort of similar. It's my first goal for Liverpool. Mm -hmm. My family were there as well, which was nice, and it was a, a stadium, a big stadium. Just before that, my previous club had a little bit of a goal drought. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's really difficult for a forward, yeah. um, and sort of you get judged on it quite a lot. And mm -hmm. obviously, if you don't score, it sort of comes down to you. And sort of when that went in, I had a massive relief, mm -hmm. um, and sort of meant so much as well with my mum and dad being there as well. So yeah, no, it was a really good feeling, and sort of hopefully first of many. Something that you've both mentioned is your family being there. Yeah. And I think it's really important. I think throughout the shows, as far as I can remember, I think everyone's mentioned family. Yeah. I think because they're your constant. They're always there, good and bad. They'll travel abroad to watch you play. Yeah. They'll take you up and down the country. Um, and I think it's really special that you both had your family yeah. there. So They've sacrificed mm -hmm. everything for us to be here. Yeah. They've put like, their lives on hold, essentially, yeah. for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I can't, don't know how much money. Mom and dad have spent on petrol, yeah. on Time everything, and so energy, much, like stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ah, <laughs> they, they stress so more than me about football. Yeah, I do. don't think you realise like till you're a little bit older. Yeah, like, probably like where you are now, and you mm -hmm. like, I realised when probably I was around about your age, like yeah. God, they actually they sacrifice a lot. Like, yeah. they give up their weekends to travel away, mm -hmm. and they do so much. And it's just so nice that in their moments, what you used to have just showed, yeah. they're there, and you're almost doing it for them. Yeah, yeah. you're celebrating what yeah. their hard that's work. Also yeah, massive. yeah. Like when I score, I sort of don't like obviously for the team and everything like that, but like sort of think straight away like my family, like mm -hmm. doing it for them. Like, yeah. It's not. I don't like. I obviously, do care that I scored, but like, sort of if I don't score, I feel like it's my family that I've sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no. It's just stick like the like the feeling I get when I've seen how happy they are yeah. that I'm playing and that like, mm -hmm. for me even, this is a bit off topic, but my first game of the season, like just walking out to so never walk alone, mm -hmm. it was, yeah. it's mm -hmm. mental. mental it? And even my dad was like, whoa. And he said like, he got a bit teary in that. And mm -hmm. like, it just, you just feel the oneness of the club. Mm -hmm. And even like just the whole city involved, it's just like, it's mental, isn't it? you just get like goosebumps. It's, yeah. it's crazy. It's unreal. I remember I come here, when I was first here in 2013 and hearing the cops saying, you'll never walk alone for the oh. first time. Like, I, I didn't get upset, but I was like, God, like, I was a bit overwhelmed. Like, like, well, yeah. And then like, like, we walk out of it now. Yeah. Like it's, it's not, I, th I don't think there's any other feeling like it in football. Not I really don't. So girls, to end the show this week, we've got a head to head challenge where I'll ask each of you a question about each other. <laughs> the loser has to buy coffee. Well, I'm going to include myself for me and the yeah. other person. Yeah? yeah. I'm yeah. not missing out on a coffee here. <laughs> Go on. So let's see how well you know each other since you live together and you're so close. So, Charlotte, I'm going to ask you the oh, first question. <laughs> when is Rihanna's birthday? You know I know it. You don't know oh. mine, that's the issue. <laughs> She's born on the 21st of October, 1998, to be precise. Is that correct? It is correct. Do you know the time she was born? Right. 8.32. <laughs> 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 Imagine close. if it was. I couldn't tell you. Oh. Right, 1-0. Good start. Thank you, thank Good you. Good start. Don't even. <laughs> I, you know how competitive I am. I'm not losing. Brianna, what is Charlotte's shoe size? Right. Is so she not getting the birthday question? Because she would get that wrong. No, walk. I wouldn't. Can you part of it? <laughs> um, shoe size. Right, this can vary. I want to say, is your boot... A seven. <laughs> <laughs> a six, a six. No, she's gone seven. You have to take five. Okay, right, right, I'm wrong. Right, I'm going to give you one guess. But then her trainer's five. No, six. She's No, no. Oh, wow. Well. Right, you're Boot wrong. Sorry, Ray. Why did you tell me it was a seven? I said I used to wear sevens and realised right. they're way too big. That's, no, Ooh. see, that's the thing. But I no, she told me she was but a is seven. that the size boot I wear? No, but you told me it was a seven. That's all no. I remembered. No, I shan't have in that. No, you're not. Sorry, mate. Right, back to Charlotte. What does Rihanna like most about you? Where do I begin? Um, There's a list. I'd like to know this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? I think I know what it is. I'm so we did speak about it last night. <laughs> How right. we literally like think the exact same as each other. Yeah. 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 Right, fair same wavelength. Same wavelength. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Good answer. Right, Re. Charlotte is down to our last fiver. What does she buy? Every day of my life. Know. <laughs> Coffee. 
Coffee or... Yeah. Coffee? Yeah. yeah. Got to be coffee. Right, <clears throat> one more question each. So you need, if you get this right, you've won. Charlotte, it's Rihanna's turn on karaoke. Oh. What song does she sing? <laughs> Are you coming that way? We're I've actually singing. got a karaoke song. Oh, do so you? I actually do. If you get it right, I've actually... I was going to sing our song, but... What is that? I'm not going to tell you, because that's not my answer, though. No, I won't count it. I was going to say School in Life by Beyonce, but that's oh, not our answer. But that's but a, it was good a good one. one. Yeah. Um... I'm just gonna go <laughs> like Dancing Queen Abba. It's your song, by the way. It's not? Wait. It's the bright side. <laughs> oh, Ooh, banger. Decent. What a choice. I'm not gonna like, like I have not made that up. I, I trust you, Riri. I, I could get this wrong anyway. Right, come on, Ri. I hope you do. <laughs> and you've got to be honest. Oh, yeah, well. please be honest. Right. Charlotte is on I'm a Celebrity. Oh, I really hope so. I've already passed. Which trail would she absolutely not take part in? One way, like. Is that massive dome goes in your head and they put all oh, them right. spines Rank. and stuff in. No, I ain't bothered about that. Yeah. No, I just close my eyes and tell myself it's fake. What, what would you not do? The it's one where you crawl no, under? No, you know, like underwater tunnels and that. Uh, you know, when I like underwater, yeah. I would never have known that. I hate being underwater. You know, do I you? hate swimming. What and I hate small spaces. But you bought a costume and goggles and, and went to the world. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, why did we go swimming? I wasn't in tunnels at all. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Ree, you lost. Oh. Sorry, mate. Charlotte, you won. You go get the coffees in. I don't mind. On the next away trip, whenever. On me, don't worry. But thank you for coming on, girls. It's no, been an absolute thank you. pleasure. You did bring the banter. Thank you. Like I warned you all week, bring the banter, bring the banter. And you did. 10 out of 10. Of course. You've worked 10 out of 10. <laughs> the bar has set high. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, but thank you for coming on. Really appreciate it. Nice hearing some of your stories. Yeah, about thank your you days off us. and stuff like that. So, and I'll see Thanks you tomorrow. Yeah. Can't wait. Right, <laughs>